Hello, welcome to Star Wars Spelt Out. I'm your host, Josh Chapman, and today, here we are again. Another figure boxing, unboxing thing. Kenner original Star Wars. Um, there's not going to be too many left of these. There isn't that much left to go. Um, I'll get into that in a minute, but uh, I've got a couple of things, and this is an interesting one because I kind of went against everything I'd been saying in these videos on one of the things that I've got here. So... Uh, yeah, it's kind of worked out that way. So um, we'll get to that at the end. But I've got a couple of items that have come in, come through. So I've got one right here, which was an eBay order, which came through um, about a week ago, late last week, after I did the other video. So of course it turned up. So that's good, more content. But again, this is one of the last sort of big-ish lots that I'll be getting because... Yeah, there isn't that much left to go. I don't know whether I can do a video on when I get a single figure and things, but we'll see. We might get into how we're going to show them if people are interested in that kind of thing, but we'll we'll see how we go. So this, with this one's come in. Um, I'm just going to open this up again. I should have done this before. Oops, just knocked the mic, of course. But I'll see if I can just quickly get this open. Let's see what we're dealing with here. I'm trying to remember what was actually in this lot. I think this is a pretty stando lot. I don't think there's any major crazy rare stuff, but sort of just things that were needed that I needed to get, which is why I've ordered it. Duh. Obviously. I might just, just detach these scissors, not particularly safe. Kids. Put these back. Oh, can I do this? Yeah, how have I done that? Well, riveting stuff. Hey, there we go. So, got the box. What we'll do is let's put on the little camera. Just reminds me of that guy on Instagram who does the the did what is it the divorce dad's cards. <laughs> Come on, house. Uh, I can't remember his name. Very good. There's Daddy Pig. There. Have you ever seen that guy on, on Instagram? Look him up. It's very funny. Oops. The mic's in the way, of course. Oh, and the mic's in the way again. But you got some good sound. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, this is not going to be very conducive for interesting. Look how this is. I mean, I appreciate the packing, but I mean, look at this. <laughs> so I'm going to have to unwrap all of these and show them off. I can't even do the clear. I mean, I mean, props to the eBay seller, which was, I think it was a semi-professional eBay store, vintage store that I got these from. They're in Australia, though. But, um, okay, I am going to need those scissors back because I'm going to have to try and open these up semi quickly so you don't just get bored watching me unpack um, bubble wrap is there a quick way that I can go through these oh god well I'll make the video longer if nothing else oh man I might have to just undo all of these and then cut cut to for the unvi unveiling potentially but we'll see. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Straight off the bat. Oh, a Yoda. Missing everything. And he's not the dark-skinned one. Um, I was talking about a story on my podcast. I was spelled out with our friends Hawes Burkhardt about how I was trying to get a lot off a lady and she had a brown snake Yoda. And she would not part with it amongst other things, unless it was an exorbitant price. So I didn't um, go for that. And good on her, it's her stuff. She can do what she likes. Oh my God. This is insane. Can I just get these out quickly? Just trying to pull the top. Hey, there we go. Oh, yeah. Greeted with that face. Look at that. Emperor Palpatine himself. Which I'm a little bit annoyed having to buy that because I've had one forever at my parents' place and I just don't know where he went. He went, I don't know. We was there forever. I used to see him all the time and pay him no mind. Uh, and for some reason, he's just gone walkies in the last couple of years along with his Imperial Dignitary mate, which is very disappointing. God, it's gonna be like an ASMR video. You could listen to the sweet sounds of me unpacking bubble wrap. These are insanely well done. I mean, good on them. 
I'm not going to complain about that, but yep, it is mean it's going to be a little bit trickier. Oh, yes. That's a good one. Let me see. I'm just trying to move the pag around so we can see when I show it up. It's Bosk. He's in pretty good nick, actually. He's looking very good. Good paint job on him. Again, these were pretty cheapo figures. I didn't get anything too crazy. They got no weapons, obviously. Um, when Hawes, friend of the show from Blue Harvest, was on, he was talking about how he was sort of trying to get the last, all the Empire Bounty Hunter vintage ones complete. I think he got them, but then it was, you know, it opens up the, opens up the path to, you just get more and more stuff, and before you know it, you're getting boxes delivered, and you're unpacking them on YouTube like a crazy person, trying to very quickly cut up bubble wrap without damaging the figure inside. Aha. Uh -huh. Imperial Death Squad Commander. Not bad. Got a little bit of rub on the front, but I knew that. I think he's a lot first. Is he a first 12? That one? I think he is, isn't he? Excuse my ignorance on the history if I've got that wrong, but I think that's the case. I wonder if I can just get those. I've got the... Um, do I have the... Oh, maybe I don't have the repro of him, the anniversary ones. He might not have been on the that release. Oh my god. Get through here. Don't cut the bag. Oh, just hit the mic instead. Boom. Oh, what's the, I was like, why is this one so thin? It's because it's Bespin Leia. There she is. No cloak, unfortunately. No, I think... Does she come with a blaster? But you might come with something. I would like to get the cloak act for this, actually. I might see if I can get a... She's not in... She's in an okay condition. Um, yeah. She probably is a figure that really needs her cloak, but looks a bit weird without it. Because she never really got around with got around without it. Oh, where am I putting those? Put her there. Oh, my hat. Oof. Oh yeah, good. This is a good one. And this is a little bit of a, a, a detour. I'm glad I got a little bit careful with this one. But this is a heck of a figure, actually. But not in the run. It's a Psy Snoodles. As part of the band. I don't have the rest of the band yet. So I'm going to have to get them individually, which is going to be a little bit trickier let alone get the accessories and things, but this was a good price and it was in really good condition, this figure. And gotta have the band, you gotta have the band. The original. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, Lupty neck all the way. Well, we, don't, uh, we don't listen to Jedi rocks in this household. Ah, it's okay. It's all right. I don't mind a bit of Jedi rocks. Me. I mean, I've got to give a good review for the for the wrapping of this, don't I? Really, I can't. Oh, I should have just cut it. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible to not bore people, just to keep them riveted on this thing. But thank you for everybody who's been watching these. People have been watching them. Who knew? People like Star Wars. Ah, it's the uh, Empire Strikes Back. Whoop. Medical droid. Well, oh, there he is. Is that 21B? Sorry, I should take these out of the bag, but he's looking okay. He's got a little bit of wear on him. He'll be okay. He's just got to sit there. I might just move some of these over a little bit. We'll leave size noodles for there for now. She just got here. <laughs> you can really barely see them in these bags. But anyway. So it's a good little haul, this. This is just lots of filling in the gaps. The ones that you're just sort of getting pretty common lots and stuff, but you're never going to get just the ones you want in a lot and not have ex excess stuff. So this seller had quite a few things that I needed on his eBay store and I could buy them outright and he 
because he, he packaged them all up in one thing. I didn't have to pay individual packaging. Just send him a message. He was really accommodating, which was great. That's what you want. Worked well for everybody. Ah, yes. It is the white, white boy, best pen guard. With the big mo. There he is. Whoop. So, of course, there is the other best pen guard with the dark skin. Uh, which I've got a connect on and should have that soon. So they'll be hanging out together, keeping order in at uh, Cloud City in no time. There's only a couple left here. Oh my God. Ah, here we go, classic. Now, this is a very good figure. Um, he's not too bad, he's got a bit of yellow on him, but I expected that for what I paid for him, which is Farm Boy Luke, classic, no lightsaber. But I got a very good price on him, and I was looking at another one which had a saber, but it was in just absolute rubbish condition. Like, it looked like the dog had really, really gotten to it. So, he'll be really good on the shelf. I probably should upgrade one day and get one with a lightsaber because I do love that figure I mean he's got a bit yellow on the on the old tunic there but that is a very nice figure I love that one one day we'll get a saber for him anybody got a spare loot saber they're not they're pretty hard to come by because people obviously package them with the real deal and then sell them as a combo you're not going to get too many loose Luke sabers don't really want to get a repros again I'm trying to avoid repros I'm not that fussed on having everything Particularly perfect, although we'll get to that in a minute. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Hey. Ah, yes, another one that I always really wanted. And this was a very good price considering, actually. I think this is only about $30. I thought I talked too much in price, but that is an amazing price for Wicket with his hood on. Um, got a really good deal on that actually because I've seen him go for heaps like I know he's normally got his stick and things but to get him with his hood and it was only like yeah 30 something dollars and because it was all one delivery cost as well um, it wasn't like I was paying an extra 10 bucks per delivery per thing as well I always wanted a wicket never had one so I mean you know, he's the man isn't he shout out to Warwick Davis if you're watching mate so only now, I'll save everybody the pain here. There's only three more in here. So I'm going to try and burn through these quite quickly. People who are going nuts listening to tape and bubble wrap probably get some comments going, you should have just opened all of these before. But you only get one shot to see what you've gotten. So, you know, we'll keep it real. Ah. Oh, he's quite yellow. Is he always supposed to be? Oh, I thought he was more silver. He's just seen some action, this guy. And he's a bit. Again, you get what you pay for. And I didn't pay a lot for this guy, but it is the, the Death Star droid. He's seen some action, this bloke. He's just got to stand there. So he's not particularly silver anymore. It looks like he's gone a bit yellow. He's been sitting at the bottom of a box somewhere or something along those lines. But that's okay. He's just got to do his thing. Two to go. How can I cut this? Whoops. Without damaging anything. This really just tells me I need to get more decent scissors. Did you ever have your mum had the good pair of scissors? And they were kept out of your way. You weren't allowed to touch the good pair of scissors. I think that's a Tony Martin joke. I have a couple of get Tony Martin jokes on this. Okay. Whoops. Oh my god. Yep, there we go. It is the Rebel Hoth Commando. Not Luke, who looks very similar, um, but it's the Rebel Hoth Commander Commando, whatever they are, soldier. No blaster, just the OG. He's looking pretty good. He's got a little brown, but pretty much looks what how I thought he would look. He'll look good up on the shelf. So put him there. 
Again, I know these bags are a little bit a little bit hard to see the things in there, I know. So there's only last last one in here. Although there's this actually before I do that, in a separate bag, which wasn't in bubble wrap, was this. Oops. Which looks like a backpack. And I think I got when I got my Han, he had a backpack. Maybe it must be an accessory for something, but I'll have to have a look. Maybe he's on the Rebel Soldier or something. It's not Yoda's backpack. That's just come in here as a little bonus for something. I'm not quite sure, but I'm sure somebody will know where that belongs. I'm sure I can just Google it and find out pretty easily. Um, so yeah, that was the one thing. It was just sort of in there with everything else. It wasn't in Mountains of Bubble Wrap, but it belonged to somebody. Um, and there it is. I think I know what this is. I'm just trying to remember what was on this order. So I've got to be careful chopping this because I don't want to accidentally chop the wrong thing. Yes, here it is. <laughs> it's uh, if you can hear that. Do you know what? Can you guess what it is? I hope it comes back together. Actually, it's uh, C3PO. Oops, there he is. C3PO detachable C3PO detachable C3PO. Touchable C3PO. Wonder if he goes back together or not. We'll see whether he'll actually display. He might just fall over. He might need a little bit of love, a little bit of blue tack. And he's got his little bag. Felt like that was one that probably needed to have an accessory. Because how do you distinguish between the two? Um, I still need to get the original normal one, but I think it's coming. I've got a seller who I've got some other stuff from. I've got an order coming from him, and he got a few more things and said that he had some stuff. And I think I'm going to get that, and that'll actually put me very close to the edge. Um, so I'll pop that there for now. So that's it from that box. That is done. So thank you everybody for being patient on that. Okay. Oh, move that out of the way. And what I might do, because there is one more thing I've got to show off. And I'll take all these and put these in the box. Get them out of the way. And then I'm just going to go over here and... Ugh, grab the other box of what I've got here. Uh, now this is the one that's just basically thrown in the face of everything that I've been st stood for on this mission, which was getting low quality stuff that didn't have to be complete. Uh, but there was a seller on a group uh, and he was a guy in Melbourne and he had a couple of things. Well, you had one thing that I actually needed and then that kind of led on to two other things that he said he had. And I just kind of went for it. And got these yeah so I'll just show you what it is I'll just start off with the thing that I needed to start off with but that was um, one of my favorite favorite figures which is the biker scout and he's got his blaster which is for some reason sitting behind his head but it's just in, in the bottom of the bag there it is uh, which yeah a complete one and it was reasonable enough I got a package deal with the other things that I've got here um, Needed a biker scout. I've got the retro repro one, and I've actually got on the wall. I should actually just, you know, since I'm here and I'm doing a video, I might as well just show it off. It's one of the other things that I had, but I've got, I actually own the original biker scout in a box. Um, and it's got a bunch of crap written on the back, which I bought at Star Wars Celebration London. It's one of the only things I actually bought. Luckily, I wasn't there to get figures. Who knows? The next celebration is not till Japan next year, so I'm pretty sure I'll have everything done by then. Maybe, maybe there'll be one or two chase items we're holding out. Who knows? But uh, yeah, so I've got that. So the question is, I think I'll just put the box up with the display somewhere. The, the speeder bike's in there. I don't even know I've even opened the box. It was all sort of sealed up. I mean, the box isn't sealed, it's been opened and reopened, obviously. Um, six dollars 99 it wasn't Montgomery Ward, wherever that was. Classic back in the day, but uh, and somebody you can't quite see. I don't know if you can see that. Someone's really gone to town on the back there, showing no respect to Chief Chirper or to the Biker Scout for that matter. And that was one of the reasons I got a good deal on it because I thought, well, I'm only going to face it forward. So it doesn't really matter. I'll just put that up there for now. Actually, no, I'll move that because I've got a bit of space. So I'll just pop it there. Um, back to the box. 
um, so this is the other thing that I I got that I'll lead into is I got this beautiful bastard Jabba the Hutt and he still wags still wags his tail oh, oh, he's in very very good condition very good condition perfect condition you might say for something that's been opened but part of the thing that makes me break my rule is that I got he is a um, a complete figure so he's the whole shebang can I put that down oh, there's a view can I put that there uh, you're probably not going to be able to see that I might just put that there for a sec but it's it's got his little dais, Jabber on the dais. Does anybody ever remember? Does anybody go the early days of the internet and those fan fields? There was some Jabber on the dais video. For some reason, it always plays sticks in my head. Um, actually, this might be a good time to use this camera. But it's um, it's all complete. So it's even got the little. Oh, this is, I'm trying to do this here. It's got the little string, the little chain layer up to the string thing, or chain up your your dancer. Um, which is cool, which is a bonus, because I kind of thought that'd be gone. But there he is, Salacious Crumb, hiding out. Shout out to Claire Stribling. A lovely chick, Claire Stribling from Imperial Senate Podcast, her favourite character. And he's got his little vape, his hooker pipe, all the accessories, everything is there. So, like I said, I wasn't going for complete stuff. I probably could have got... A cheaper thing and it would have could have just been well obviously jabber on his own maybe got him on his little maybe on his thing with none of the other stuff but kind of felt like it would be good to have all of these ones i feel like it, it would elevate it and i was a sucker and i got caught up in the moment and i got it and no regrets so i picked it up but also the guy was in melbourne so i could pick it up in person didn't have to pay for postage which was i made it a little bit more palatable as well and then it leads on to the final, the final thing that I got. Oh, actually, it also came. He also put this in, which is a Harning Carbonite. Now, it's not the Harning Carbonite that comes with the last 17, which is a little bit of a bummer because I've got the Harning without the Carbonite. But I, you know, this guy was a collector. He knew he wasn't just going to th throw that in willy-nilly. But he said that this came from the Slave One vehicle so there it is so it'll look good in the background or I don't even know if it'll stand up it probably won't actually because it's not flat it's probably just going to fall over its stickers are starting to wear um, well, some of the stickers on the side are okay but um, I might just stick it behind the last 17 and hope that nobody notices what are you going to do until I get another one we'll see and so that leads us to the very last thing that's on here which um, is in the bag. I haven't even looked at his face. I might even take him out. Um, as I mentioned before, I've, I've got a Luke Skywalker wall. I've got an original Kenner. I've got a Luke on card. Jedi Luke. I've got a loose Luke. And I've got the speeder bike Luke. Thanks to my friend Heath. Um, but this guy had, and I couldn't pass up, which was a blue saber Luke Jedi. So there's his blue saber. He's got all his gear. Um, you know... It wasn't the cheapest thing going around, but it was a very good deal for what it was, I thought. And I haven't even looked at his face here. I'll just turn him around and see, make, see how bad his paint rub is, if anything. Oh, actually, it's very good. His hood doesn't quite do him. Just like, show it to the camera. What are you talking about? There he is. And there's his, he's got his, his blasters in there, but there is... The blue saber. The real deal. You can play Return of the Jedi first trailer at home. But I always really wanted always really wanted to get that variant. That's probably the only variant I had any interest in at all. And um, he'll go up on the wall. I think I'll probably keep... And that means I can keep the one I got from Heath sort of with the rest of the collection. And can still sit up there prior to place all the other Luke things and blue Luke Saber can go on the display or on the wall or wherever he ends up. The blaster's in there as well. So completely broke my own rules. Spent more on one figure. Um, got a variant. Got a complete. But 
it's Luke Skywalker. Come on, it's Luke Skywalker. What do you expect? So, yep, that's it. So that means that after another order that's come in, there's not that much left to go. There'll be another video hopefully next week because I've got two things coming. It might be the week after, depending how long they take to turn up. And then we're really getting in the weeds and then we get into the real like three last 17s or something like that. There's not much left at all. So that's probably, I mean, I mean, it'll be the end of the videos unless I hold off, I get one and you watch me go, oh, look, it's Warrock or whoever it is. There it is. But um, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everybody for leaving comments. And yeah, it's been fun doing these. And we'll keep you updated from there on in. All right. See you later.